In the beginning, there was war, and from war came death. And coming to the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox One is Darksiders 2, the definitive edition. Now for all of you out there, this will be a quick little video. You know how I don't particularly like them remaking games and putting them on a new system just to be a cash grab. But damn it, I don't have any problem with this. I love the Darksiders franchise so much so that I bought each game twice, one for the consoles and once again on my computer. And they still have two more games to make. So I am very happy to see that they are re-releasing Darksiders 2 on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. But if I may make a suggestion. Include Darksiders 1 and Darksiders 2 together in that bundle so that people who never got to experience the cities can get a good grip on it. So while this damn game may take till 2017 for me to get my Darksiders 3, I'd like to think that they're re-releasing Darksiders 2 as a good way to see if there's any interest in the cities. I just wonder who will be the star of the third game, either Strife or Fury. And plus, I just love talking in this voice. Sure. Some may find it a bit atrocious, and I admit that I use it to scare children on Halloween. But it's quite fun to do. And speaking of fun with voices, as some of you may remember, I also did the Mortal Kombat voice. I did it for the intro of my Mortal Kombat 9 review based on what a subscriber asked me to do. So for fun, is there anything that you would like to hear the Mortal Kombat voice say? Anyway, y'all have a blessed day. Just a quick short video. To say that I'm a little bit excited that Darksiders 2 will be coming to the PlayStation 3 and Xbox One. And hopefully they're using that as a way to see if interest in Darksiders 3. Mommy Combat! Jesse! Amber! Are you ready? Fight!